Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss AVL tree insertion with example. For each of the following list, construct an AVL tree by inserting their elements successively starting with the empty tree. So here they have given three problems. Okay, so each problem we are going to implement AVL tree insertion step by step. So first we will consider option A. First we have to insert element 1. If you are inserting, the balance factor will be 0. Next, we have to insert element 2. So, 1, 2 is greater than 1. So, insert 2 as a right subtree. Now, the balance factor is, this is 0 and this one is minus 1. So, it is balanced only. What is the balance factor for AVL tree? The difference between the left subtree and right subtree is nothing but the balance factor. And the balance factor, if it is 0, minus 1 or plus 1 in the sense, the AVL tree is balanced. Otherwise, we have to implement a rotation to convert the unbalanced AVL tree into a balanced one. So, these and all already you know. Already we have discussed the three examples. Okay, I will provide the link in the description for your reference. Next, we have to insert element 3. So, insert element 3. Element 3 is greater than 1. So, go to its right subtree. And element 3 is greater than 2. So, insert it as a right subtree. Now, if you are considering the balance factor, this is 0 and this one is minus 1 and this one is minus 2. So, here it is unbalanced. If the balance factor is 0, minus 1 or plus 1 in the sense, the tree is balanced. Otherwise, the tree is unbalanced. So, here we have to implement a left rotation, single left rotation to convert the unbalanced AVL tree into a balanced one. AVL tree is nothing but a height balanced binary search tree. Here it has to satisfy both binary search tree property as well as the balance factor property. Then only it will be an AVL tree. Okay. So, now convert it. So, now if you are implementing a single left rotation, now 2 will be the root node. 1 will be the left subtree, 3 will be the right subtree. Now the tree is balanced. The balance factor here is 0, 0, 0. Next, for this subtree, insert element 4. So here 2, left subtree is 1 and right subtree is 3. Now we have to insert 4. 4 is greater than 2, go to its right subtree. 4 is greater than 3, insert it as a right child. Okay. Now check the balance factor for leaf node it is 0, for 3 it is left subtree is 0, minus 1 it is minus 1. This one for root node 2 left subtree is 1, right subtree is 2, 1 minus 2 it is minus 1. Now it is balanced only. Okay. So next step we have to insert 5. So already the tree is 2, 1, 3 and 4. Now we have to insert element 5. Check with the root node. 5 is greater than 2, go to its right subtree. 5 is greater than 3, go to its right subtree. 5 is greater than 4, so insert 5 as a right child. Now check the balance factor. For leaf node it is 0, for this node left child is 0, 0 minus 1 it is minus 1. Here it is 0 minus 2, it is minus 2. And here it is 1 minus 3, here is also minus 2. Here also balance factor minus 2. So, here the balance factor gets affected. So, here you need to implement a single left rotation. So, if you are implementing a single left rotation, the tree will be 2, 1 will be the left child. And here if you are implementing a left rotation, 4 will become the root node of this subtree. 3 will go as a left child and 5 will be the right child. Now, if you are checking the balance factor, it is 0, 0 for all leaf nodes. Here it is 1. Left child is 1, minus right child is 1, 1 minus 1 it is 0, here it is 1 minus 2, it is minus 1. So now the tree is balanced. Next we have to insert element 6. Check with the root node, 6 is greater than 2, go to its right subtree, 6 is greater than 4, go to its right subtree, 6 is greater than 5. So insert 6 as the right child of 5. Okay. So now if you are considering the balance factor here, leaf node it is 0, this one it is minus 1 and this one it is 1 minus 2, it is also minus 1. And here, if you are considering it as 1 minus 3, this is minus 2. So, here it is unbalanced. Now, here we have to implement a rotation, left rotation. So, if you are implementing a left rotation, 4 will become the root node. Okay. So, here if you are implementing a left rotation, 4 will become the root node. 2 and 1 will become its left child. And 5 and 6 will become its right child. Okay, and what happens to this node 3 in the sense, 
when you are rotating here pointing to 4 and 2 when you are implementing a left rotation this 3 will be attached that is the left child of 3 will be attached as a right child of 2 okay so now 3 will becomes the right child so now if you are checking the balance factor it is balanced only and here balance search tree property is also satisfied all the elements in the left subtree is less than the root node and all the elements in the right subtree is greater than the root. So, this is the tree we will get for this first problem. Okay. Next, second problem. First, we have to insert 6. Now, the balance factor is 0. Next, we have to insert 5. 5 is less than 6. Insert it as a left child. Now, the balance factor is 0 and plus 1. It is balanced only. Next, we have to insert 4. So, 4 is less than 6. Go to its left subtree and 4 is less than 5. So, insert it as a left child. Okay. So, if you are implementing insertion, here the balance factor will get affected. This is the balance factor. So, here it will get affected. So, here you have to implement a right rotation. So, if you are implementing a right rotation, 5 will become the root node and 4 will become its left child. 6 will become its right child. Now, everywhere the balance factor is 0 now. Okay, it is balanced only. Next, for this subtree, that is 5, left child is 4 and right child is 6. Okay, next we have to insert 3. 3 is less than 5, go to its left child. 3 is less than 4, so insert 3 as a left child. Now, if you are checking the balance factor, this is 0, this is plus 1 and this is 2 minus 1. It is plus 1 and here it is 0. Next, we have to insert element 2. If you are checking with the root node, 2 is less than 5, go to its left subtree and 2 is less than 4, go to its left subtree, 2 is less than 3, so insert 2 as a left child. And now if you are checking the balance factor, it is plus 2 here and here also it is plus 2. So here you have to implement a single right rotation and if you are implementing a single right rotation, 3 will become the root node of this subtree. For these three nodes, 3 will become the root node, 2 will become its left child and 4 will become its right child. And the top root node 5 and its right subtree will be as it is. Okay, now if you are checking the balance factor here everywhere it is 0 here, 2 minus 1 it is plus 1 here it is 0. Now it is balanced only. Next we have to implement 1. Check with the root node, 1 is less than 5, go to its left subtree, 1 is less than 3, go to its left subtree and insert 1 as the left child of 2. Now check the balance factor, this is 0, this is plus 1 and this is 2 minus 1, it is plus 1 and here it is 3 minus 1, here it is plus 2, okay. So here you have to implement a right rotation. If you are implementing a right rotation, here you have to implement insertion happens here so here you have to implement pointing to 3 and 5 and if you are implementing a right rotation 3 will become the root node 5 and 6 becomes the right child of 3 and left child of 3 as it is 2 and 1 okay and what is the right child of 3 that will be attached as a left child of 5 okay now if you are checking the balance factor everywhere it is balanced so now this is avm3 it is a binary search tree and also it satisfies the balance factor. So, it is a ABL tree. Next example, C. First step, we have to insert 3, balance factor is 0. Next, we have to insert 6. 6 is greater than 3, insert it as a right child. Balance factor is 0 and minus 1. It is balanced only. Next, we have to insert 5. So, 5 is greater than 3, go to its right subtree and 5 is less than 6. So, insert 5 as the left child of 6. Now, if you are checking the balance factor, this is 0, this is plus 1 and this is minus 2. Okay, here it is unbalanced. So, what we have to do? Simply, we cannot able to implement a single left rotation because here this is left child and here it is right subtree. So, here what we have to do, first we have to implement a right rotation. So, if you are implementing a right rotation, we will get a tree like this. See, 5 goes here, 6 will become the right child of 5. Next, we have to implement, this is right rotation and next we have to implement a left rotation. So, if you are implementing a left rotation, we will get the tree, 5 will become the root node, 3 will become the left child, 6 will become the right child. Now, 
Next element 1 we have to insert. 1 is less than 5, go to its left child. 1 is less than 3, so insert 1 as the left child of 3. If you are checking the balance factor, this is 0, this is plus 1, 0 and 2 minus 1, it is plus 1. Okay, it is balanced only. Next step, insert element 2. Element 2 is less than 5, go to its left subtree. 2 is less than 3, go to its left subtree. 2 is greater than 1. So, insert 2 as the right child of 1. Okay, if it is lesser in the sense, left child. If it is greater in the sense, right child. Okay, so this is 0 and this is minus 1 now. And this one is plus 2. Number of left child is 2, right child is 0. 2 minus 0, it is plus 2. And here it is 3 minus 1, here it is also plus 2. So, here it is unbalanced. Okay, so here we have to implement a single left rotation first. If you are implementing a left rotation, 2 will come here and 1 will become the left child of 2. Then we have to implement a right rotation. So, if you are implementing in the sense, we will get a tree like this. I will draw the tree that is. 5 will be as it is root node, 6 will be its left child and here what will happen in this sense, if you are implementing a single left rotation, 2 will come here and 1 will be the left child of 2, okay. Then we have to implement a single right rotation. So, if you are implementing, 2 will become the root node, 1 will be the left child, 3 will be its right child. This is the tree we will get it. Next, we have to insert element 4. 4 is less than 5, go to its left subtree. 4 is greater than 2, so go to its right subtree. And 4 is greater than 3, so insert 4 as the right child of 3. Now check the balance factor. Here it is 0, this is minus 1, this is 0, 1 minus 2 minus 1. And here 3 minus 1, it is plus 2. So, it is unbalanced. So, here we have to implement a rotation. So, what type of rotation here we have to implement? First, we have to implement a left rotation and then we have to implement a right rotation. So, here if you are implementing a single left rotation, what happens to this tree in the sense? 3, the subtree, only for this subtree, 3 will be the root node and 2 and 1 will become its left child, 4 will become its right child. Then we have to implement a right rotation. So, if you are implementing in the sense, we will get 3 will become the root node and 5 and 6 will become its right child. 5 and 6. Okay. And then the left child 2 and 1 will be as it is. And what is the right child of 4? That will be attached as a left child of 5. This is the tree we will get. It. So, here you have to implement a single left rotation. Then you have to implement a single right rotation for this. Okay, so if you are implementing, you will get a tree like this. And now this is the binary search tree and it satisfies balance factor. This is 0, all leaf node it is 0, here also it is 0, here it is plus 1, here it is 0. Now it is balanced. And if you are considering the ABL tree insertion, single left rotation and single right rotation, it is easy to understand. Whenever comes the double left right rotation or double right left rotation, in this case, you need to consider and try to draw the intermediate tree. So, when you are implementing a double left-right rotation in this sense, the left rotation, you will get this tree. First, if you are implementing the left rotation, you will get this tree as an intermediate tree. Then, if you are implementing a right rotation, you will get this final tree. And this will be, sometimes it is confusing. So, try to understand and roughly draw the intermediate tree for understanding purpose. Once you understand the logic, it is very easy to implement. Thank you for watching this video.